Marcus Lane Betts. Me ho conosci como Mookie Betts. Eu já não conto nós um tique com a entrevista com Mookie Abai. Bom, Mookie Betts, uh, me te quero uh, para tu ainda saco é tá, Alexander Field de Boston Red Sox. Uh, nós por aí entrevista com ele, nós estava hopi excited com nós por aí uma entrevista com ele. É tava tá algo que nós não havia o acto, mas uh, ela cooperar com nós e está tá algo muito excited, está um dos primeiros centros de filha de Vega e aqui rato, eu vou fazer uh, a entrevista com, com ela aí. Through July 8th, a great knee sprain. Sends one out towards right center field, Mookie Betts on the run will dive and make the catch in center field. Aqui não foi de Camden Yards, a ah, nós tínhamos um programa Mookie Betts, center fielder de Boston Red Sox. Mookie, um, first of all, um, we want to you know, thank you um, for uh, accepting this uh, lovely um, interview that uh, you know we're here, you know, covering Xander. Um, it's a pleasure for us, you know, to come over here and uh, you know do do this kind of interview. Um, being the primary center fielder in the game, um, about you know combination of speed and power. Um, how do you feel being in that category? Uh, I mean, it feels it feels pretty good, you know. I mean, I think whatever it takes to help the team win, um, you know, that's just kind of what I do. And uh, some some days it may be hitting a home run, or some days it may be still on the base, you know. So um, being able to be to to do both is you know very very. Thank, I thank God for blessing me with it. So as of right now, um, we know um, that you know you made a transition from the infield to the outfield. How does it feel now being you know uh, outfielder? Um, I mean, primarily center field uh, because of your speed. Um, how does it feel, you know, to be, you know, a, a regular outfielder? Oh, it feels feels pretty good. I mean, uh, I think I'm starting to starting to become a home for me. Um, I, you know, I played infield for a long time, really my whole my whole life, and now that I moved to the outfield, I think uh, I think it's 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 kind of home now. So you feel you feel really good. I mean, you look good, and uh, you know, from you know, from from my perspective, and from the people um, that been watching you, and from people back home that you know been you know talking about you. You know, you know, Sanders um, from Aruba, and we came all the way from Aruba to cover him. Um, as a as a teammate of Sander, how does it feel to see you know a young player just like you um, to become you know uh, a star and you know develop him as a you know uh, major league player? Ah, oh, it feels good. It feels good. I mean. Uh Bogus kind of like a brother to me now. I mean, um, you know, we didn't really play against, play with each other through the minors, but when I first came up, he was one of the, you know, first people I started talking to, and I, I kind of knew him through the minor leagues. But, um, you know, I really got close to him last year when I first came up, and now that you know our birthday is only a couple days apart right. too, so and we're the same age. So, I um, you know, he's he's really really like a brother to me now. So as of right now, you guys, you know, being you know one one of the two young young players, you know, in the Red Sox organization or in, in the big leagues, um, how does it um, 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 feel uh, to you know be you know two young guys with you know like you know Big Poppy, you know um, um, Ramirez, you know, all, and all those older guys? Uh, it feels good. I mean, it feels good. I think uh, with Bogey doing what he's doing this year, I mean, you know, he's driving in a bunch of runs, getting a lot of base hits. Um, Finding many ways to score runs and, and help the team win, and um, I think he's he's become one of the better shortstops in the league as well. Um, I know he's come a long way. He's, he works really hard at, at, at everything he does, and um, you know it kind of rubs off. It rubs off on everyone, and uh, you know we all work hard, and but especially him. And I think he's he's you know obviously he's going to be playing in the big leagues for a long time. Davis hits one high and deep to right field. Back goes Betts at the wall. He leaps. Can he get it in? Unbelievable catch by Mookie Betts. Brings it back in. Robs Davis and ends the game all in one. A complete game for Rich Hill. Some kind of spectacular tonight. Basically, you know, you guys have been doing a great job. You're having a fantastic season. Um, we, 
you know, we from back home, um, we are going to, you know, invite you personally, you know, for you to come down and uh, um, accept this, you know, invitation, you know, on our behalf and, you know, the top sports of Ruben baseball player, um, for you guys to come down and, you know, share, you know, these beautiful experience. And uh, we have a lot of people, a lot of young people, um, you know, looking up to you guys and, and uh, wanted to, you know, meet you guys. And now we have an opportunity to come interview you guys. Um, it, it's been awesome. What are your words um, for, you know, young guys that, that, you know, want to become a professional and also um, get into the big leagues and, uh, and stay? Um, just, just keep working hard. Just keep working hard. I mean, uh, you know, no, it's never as bad as you think and it's never as good as you think. You know, just keep, just keep working hard and, you know, dreams come true. You know, I mean, for, for Bogey and, and me, you know, we've come a long way from being a young kid. And, um, you know, our dream was to play in the big leagues. And, I, you know, we both have achieved it. So it starts with a dream and then you just go, go to work from there. Muki, um, it's been a pleasure. Good luck to you to rest of the season. You're doing a great job. Get out in the end of a mass, the top spot, urban baseball players, with Muki Betts, like now for the Camden Yards. Let's go. There goes Betts. Ortiz takes a pitch high, and the throw is going to be late. Betts takes off. He sees third is open, and he will be safe. Well, the pitcher, Zimmerman, was headed over to cover and thought he had it, but Muki alertly takes third.